Hello YouTube, another watch related unboxing to share with you. Today is the 17th. I ordered these straps online and they actually arrived on Friday and I'm only just getting around to unboxing it now. So uh, let's just get to it. Right, so here they are. So this is the um, Helm CS1 canvas straps. I've been after canvas straps and just looking at the options available online. Um, you, it, it looked like you had to pay decent money um, to get very high quality canvas straps and uh, obviously I didn't have that kind of a budget so I was looking at alternatives and uh, these ones looked looked suitable for the price and uh, I have to share them all with you. So, before I take them out of the packet, let me just, uh, just bit briefly go through the what the, what they're actually called the colours. So this is all the CS is the Helm CS1 canvas straps, but we have the blue, the khaki, grey and green so let's just take them all out they, they come in this nice pack we'll get them all out <laughs> I'm already impressed Great packaging.
So let's just get the buckles out of the way. Um, they come in, you can select different buckle styles um, and they have three buckle styles so I made sure I had one of each, each style. Um, so this one and this one is obviously the same because um, they only have three styles. Let me just recall what numbers they are. So this is the B1. Sorry, this is the B1, B2 and B3. Straight off the bat, I can tell you they feel very, very good. They are a bit stiff. Well, actually, I'm just rolling it and it's, it's quite pliable. So with a bit of wear, they'll be quite, quite nice. And I looked at all the pictures and you've, you've got to appreciate. I mean, for the money you're getting, firstly, you're getting, it's, it's a fully, it's a fully canvas material made strap. You've got decent stitching. And you've got the matching stitching, and then you've got a contrasting white stitching on the other side. So you've got the option of using it both ways. All the buckles have are engraved, but it's engraved on the underside, which is uh, which is good because it's more subtle. Two move, moving keepers. Again, with a bit of wear, they do feel a bit stiff, but with a bit of wear, they'll be nice and they're still pliable, but it'll get better with age. So this particular one you've got here is the khaki. Sorry, it's the green. Let's put that there. Here we've got the gray in this uh, preview buckle style pre preview style buckle this is a really nice grey it's uh, ever so slightly, I would say it's ever so slightly purple as well, very slightly. That is a nice, uh, nice grey colour. Look at the finishing around the loops, around the holes, sorry. So these straps tend to be look at the length a little bit. What's that? Eleven and a half? Around the around the eleven and a half. Centimeters. So these are all the twenty-two width. 22 mil wide straps. They don't do any of the sizes, any of the widths. Um, so they're about three mil thick. So decent thickness straps. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not cheap. 
and they don't look cheap they don't feel cheap either Oh, this is the blue. Now this is definitely it feels thicker. This feels thicker. One, two. Hey, what's about another millimeter thicker? You can feel it feels a bit more stiff compared to the others, but once you work it, I'm sure they'll be okay. But look at that blue, that is a lovely blue colour. And I love that it has a matching stitching on one side and a contrasting white stitching. It gives you a bit of flexibility on your watches. And uh, this buckle has a bit more of a sharp edge. As it tapers down there. It's the same as this one here. Oddly, this has come with the big, big keepers on both sides. Two of the big keepers instead of the small and a big. Let's go on the last one. Now this is the, the khaki colour. This is more vintage. It has a bit more of a vintage feel. And... Uh, now it looks similar to the green, but they are two very different colours. I don't know if you can see it there. And this one just comes with the same colour stitching on both sides. So there's no contrasting stitching with this one. And the buckle is slightly different, it's more rounded. That's just been a really quick look at the Helm canvas straps. Um, sorry the video is a bit rushed, but if you need me to do any more videos on these straps, just let me know. I was looking at canvas straps and I could, I found obviously, I always as, as always, you always find the typical expensive ones and then you find out you can't afford them. So I was trying to look for alternatives the cheaper ones and what I found for a lot of the cheaper ones is they look cheap and they're really quite thin this one had had decent stitching it's canvas it's a canvas material all the way around um, and fortunately it was in the 22 mil size which is what I wanted um, now it's interesting that uh, I can tell this the khaki feels a lot thinner and maybe you can actually see it and the, the the blue one is definitely the thickest you can tell just by putting them side by side so that's interesting but This is my glycine and I reckon the uh, the khaki colour goes really well with this. Look at, look at that. And I've got my...
I'm quite excited to try these on, just get some wear in them and uh, just break them in. Okay, and the green goes really well with that glycine. Anyway, that's been a very quick show and tell. my uh, helm canvas crafts. If you uh, if you're looking you're in the market for some canvas traps and you need 22 mil width and you don't have mega box I would definitely recommend these guys. So that's been a quick unboxing of my 22mm helm canvas straps. Thank you.